honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to just play with some makeup and I was really inspired by Stacey Marie um, MUA on Instagram. She is freaking amazing, you guys. Her eyeshadow looks are literally out of this world and they just give me so much hope that one day I can do eyeshadow just like her. <laughs> um, her work literally, you guys, is so flawless. Her blending skill is freaking amazing. Definitely check her out. I will link her Instagram down below so you guys can, you know, take a peek at her Instagram it will literally blow you away I also filmed me doing my entire face um, my foundation and all that good stuff because I know how much you guys like to see that in my videos so I also incorporated that in today's video um, so I'm pretty much glam to go absolutely nowhere <laughs> because obviously we're still in lockdown today is such a beautiful day it just really made me in the mood to just sit here and play with some eyeshadow so of course before we do get started if you're not subscribed and you're not a part of the honey family what are you waiting for girl go ahead and click the little subscribe button also click that little notification bell which does notify you every time that i upload a new video here on youtube and so that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos um so with that said let's go ahead and get started all right you guys let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna go into the jeffree star bloodless palette and picking up the shade called dungeon which i'm gonna start off with a dark plum shade first and i'm going into my morphe m506 it's that nice tapered mini blender brush that i love for more detailed um, eyeshadow looks that i like to do so with this we're gonna go ahead and start off with applying it in the crease and then towards the inner and outer corners but we're trying not to go up too high we mainly just want to focus this um, in the areas that I am placing the, sh the shadow at this very second. Um, next, I'm going to go into my Morphe M433 and picking up the shade called Wifey, that nice magenta shade from the Be Perfect in collab with Stacey Marie. Um, and I'm going to place this on top of the shade called Dungeon. And we're just going to start to blend these colors in together. Now, um, as you guys can see here, I am taking the eyeshadow a little bit into the shade called Dungeon, that nice dark plum. Um, and that's okay because we want to mix these two together so that that way Dungeon can get softer um, and it starts to blend out really smoothly into that shade called Wifey. So at this point, you guys, you just want to keep going back and forth and blend these two eyeshadows together. The quality of these eyeshadows, you guys, from different palettes are amazing. They are collaborating really nicely and they are not powdery, which is really, really good. Um, and that's the reason why I always just stick to these particular palettes whenever I'm going to be creating an eyeshadow looks like this. So right now, I know that it kind of looks really crazy. It looks messy and it doesn't look very promising but <laughs> trust me you guys trust the process and I actually wanted to give up too when I came to this I was like maybe this is not coming out like the way that I was envisioning it um but just keep on going trust me trust the process um it's gonna all come together um, and of course, you can always switch up the colors. You definitely don't have to be using the shades that I am using, you know, just use the technique that I'm doing. Um, I'm just going back and forth into both of the colors and blending it out, switching back and forth between the brushes, because remember, we did use them for the particular color that we picked. Um, so yeah, here, all I'm doing is just going back and forth um, until I am completely satisfied with the way that they're blending out. Um, and yeah, just keep going, guys. You got this. Going back into the Bloodlust palette, I'm picking up the shade called Blood Queen. This does have a little bit of like red in this color, but I'm going to be using this right in the crease. So remember how I told you guys that it was okay to, if you put a little bit of the wifey magenta shade into dark plum, it was totally okay because I'm going back into the Morphe M506 and picking up Blood Queen and applying it right in the middle just to blend those two together. Um, so that's why I really love using smaller detail brushes. Like this because they're really small and precise and it really helps with the blending um, portion of the eyeshadow look um, so yeah that's all I'm really doing here is just going back and forth and I'm um, blending that color in 
Once we've done that, I'm gonna go back into the Be Perfect palette. I'm picking up the shade called Foolish. It's a nice peachy color. And I'm using the Morphe M433 again, and I'm gonna place this right on top of the shade called Wifey. I just felt like I needed something that more right there, so I decided to take it up higher towards my brows. Now, you definitely don't have to do this and do such an exaggerated look, but that's the purpose of today's video since we're doing something more heavy and a more heavier makeup application. Um, I decided to go a little bit higher and touch my brows. So I like to just really lightly with very light pressure just start to buff it up towards the brows and also blend it into the shade called Wifey. Now at this point you guys I'm basically going into all the colors that we placed on our eyeshadow and just going back and forth and switching my brushes to the brushes that we used to create um, the eyeshadow looks that we have right now and we're just intensifying a little bit more. The first couple of steps was kind of placing the, the colors and blending as much as you can and now it's time to actually intensify it a little bit more and perfecting it. Um, to how you want it. Now I am not a perfectionist at blending whatsoever. I have practiced for many years and I still feel like I need more practice. Um, but just do what you can. Um, don't get stressed out. Trust me, I get stressed out and get frustrated. Um, but it's all gonna come together at the very end. So the first, like I said, the first process is kind of putting the colors down and blending them to what you like and then it's time to intensify them and really make them to what they're gonna be like, like your final, final draft, you know? <laughs> now, I was really inspired, you guys, by Stacey Marie and one of the eyeshadow looks that I'm gonna post right here for you guys. So I'm gonna be trying to do that. Now, I'm going into my Urban Decay Eden Primer and I'm using this Morphe um, brush. It's a concealer brush with the number rubbed off, but any small detailed concealer brush that you have will work. And you just wanna start to create a half moon on your eye. So it's like if you were gonna be doing a half cut crease, but we mainly, or a halo eye actually, but we're only gonna be placing the primer only in the center. Um, I love the way that this eyeshadow look that she did came out. It is just so different. She's so unique and so talented that I wanted to try to recreate her look. Now, honestly, you guys, I actually i felt like i loved my left eye way better than i did my right which is so weird because normally my right eye is like my dominant side so i know that that will never fail me but my left eye for some reason came out way better um towards the outer corner is what i'm referring to but it's okay this is my first time doing this look and i wanted to record it for you guys because i felt inspired um so just try your best to try to get these identical and if not do a half cut crease girl do whatever your little heart desires Now to set the primer, I'm going to go into the Monarchy Matte Light Brown. Now I actually thought it was going to be a little bit lighter, so my bad. You guys could definitely go in with white um, or just something lighter than this shade. I mean, it was just too late to go back. I was like, whoa, this is not what I was picturing the color to come off, but we got to run with it, sis. And I'm using a MAC 239 to um, apply this. Um, and then next after this you definitely don't have to apply anything else if you don't want you can go strictly into your lashes But I'm gonna go into the bomb showing matte liquid liner and it's just a matte black liquid liner um, Because since we're gonna be applying falsies, I just don't want the band to be showing um, But you can definitely skip this step if you don't want to apply any liner um, you can even go in with some eyeshadow if you want and kind of do a reverse and maybe do like some pink and then add some purple in there, which is something that I wish I should have done, but we're trying to stick really close to what the picture looks like. Um, I don't even think she even put black liner, but I don't know what I was doing. And at this point, you guys, you can even apply um, glitter. So let's say like the left eye, like I was saying that I wasn't liking it very much. You can definitely hide this and apply some liquid um, glitter around it and you can cover up your mistake. So just a little secret for you guys. For lashes today, I'm going to go into Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos Light. Um, and I decided to go in with a more wispy natural set, so that way you guys can definitely see the eyeshadow peeking through. But it still gives me that volume that I still want. Um, and then to tide line, I'm going to go into my Charlotte Tilbury, the classic eye powder pencil in the shade black. Just so that way you can't see any skin peeking through once you've applied your lashes. Now this, now next you guys, I'm gonna go and start off and do my skin. So for primer, I went into the Benefit Hydrating Primer and then for foundation, I used the Hourglass Stick in the shade Linen and I mixed it in with the Beauty Creations 3.5 
shade um, their foundation is amazing um, and then for concealer I'm gonna go into the hourglass in the shade sepia now um, I'm gonna apply the concealer like I normally do I've actually you guys really loved mixing the hourglass stick foundation with the beauty creations it just looks so bomb and it gives you such a nice flawless um, finish um, and then for cream contour I'm gonna go into the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 360 and I'm using a Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush and you guys know that I like a more natural, softer contour. Um, so you want to apply it towards your cheekbones, the sides of your face, on your forehead and then I'm going to go into the Morphe E30 brush and you guys already know the drill with this. I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose and blend it up towards the brows and into the eyeshadow so that way it gives me a more natural, snatched contour nose. <laughs> Now once I've let my concealer sit there for a little bit, I'm gonna go into the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which is the sponge that I use to blend my foundation, and I'm gonna start to blend out this concealer. You guys, this concealer is amazing. I love this concealer so much. It really glides on really nicely towards my lower, um, underneath my eyes, and it just gives me a nice, I don't know, like plasticky feeling, <laughs> like I got a facelift. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it looks so bomb and it photographs really nicely. And of course, I want some more brightness just in those areas. I'm going into the KKW Beauty in the shade number four. Um, and now to set the cream contour, you guys, I'm going to go back in to, I haven't used this palette in a while. It's the KKW Beauty Contour Palette in the shade Light Medium, I think. This is the kit. And I'm the ones, the colors that I pointed at, those are the ones I'm going to use to set my cream contour. Now, I love this um, powder kit, you guys. I don't know why I stopped using it. Um, it just gives me a nice, beautiful, soft contour. I don't know what it is, but it just looks so pretty and then the shade that I just pointed at I like to use it for blush sometimes because it gives me a nice bronzy look and of course I'm gonna also set my cream contour on my nose but definitely check out that palette if you haven't played with it um, and next to just set my um, concealer I'm gonna go into the Maybelline translucent powder in the shade 01 light um, and then just to bake a little bit underneath my eyes and then just set the rest of my face and push the powder into my skin so that way um, it lasts a lot longer um, I've been using this powder you guys for quite some time now and I love it because it's from the drugstore and it just does a good job and it has a little bit of a tint I like when powders have a slightly a little bit of color so that way I don't look so washed out and then go ahead and just dust it off for blush I'm gonna go into the benefit dandelion I've been obsessed with this blush you guys already know that and I'm using my Sigma F10 to apply my blush um, towards the um, lower lash line, you guys, I don't remember what um, name this pencil is, but I will list it down below. This is from NARS, and I'm just going to um, place it um, and then blend it out with those small little detailed Morphe brushes, which unfortunately they are sold out. I saw on Morphe. They're really, really good, and I hope that they, that they do bring them back out. But definitely check your nearest Morphe store to see if they still have some. But basically what we did on top, we're going to do towards the bottom lash line. To highlight my inner corner, you guys, I'm going to go into this pencil brush, um, which is the S20 by Morphe, and I'm going into the shade called Wet Jewel and Beauty Sleep from the Bloodless palette. I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I love how it looks really gold, pinky, shimmery. Um, I just love that. Um, and it really, I don't know, looks really, really pretty with the purple and the pinks that we have on the eyeshadows. And then I'm taking a more fluffier brush. Um, I think this is the Morphe, I don't know what number this is, but I'll also link it down below for you guys. And I'm just going to dust it on my brow bone. And then for my waterline, you guys, I'm going to go in back into that shade called um, Wifey, that magenta shade from the Be Perfect palette. Taking a Morphe 266 and applying this in my waterline. And then going into the um, Benefit, this is the Roller Lash. I love this mascara for my lower lashes. For highlight today, I'm going to go into the Be Bella Cosmetics Dama Divina Highlight, and I'm using the Artist Couture AC03 Highlight Brush. And I'm applying this um, above my brows, on my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my cheeks. Now it's time for lips. I'm gonna go into the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. I haven't used this lip pencil in a hot minute, but lately I've been loving it again. I don't know why. <laughs> Normally MAC pencils, um, I feel like they're so dry, 
but for some reason i don't feel like stripped down well at least this one is not as dry really really weird and i'm gonna go into the coco times kylie in the shade allergic to bullshit um hopefully this is available still online for you guys to purchase um and of course just using my finger to just blot and make it more um less matte and less product on my lips and it gives me more of a softer effect and then of course my morphe matte setting spray and you guys that's pretty much it for today's video on this heavy glam um out of this world eyeshadow look <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one and of course if you do recreate this tag me on instagram bye